In this video, we'll learn how to share a family file between your Mac and your devices using Reunion 11 on your Macintosh together with Reunion Touch on your iPad or iPhone. To share a family file between your Mac and your devices, you'll need the following items. The Reunion Touch app installed on your iPhone or iPad, Reunion 11 for Macintosh installed on your Mac, Dropbox installed on your Mac, and a Dropbox account. The basic Dropbox service is free. If you don't yet have Dropbox, please visit dropbox.com. To begin sharing a family file on the Mac with a mobile device, find the family file and drag it into Dropbox. Be sure to wait until Dropbox is finished before proceeding. It may take a while if your family file has lots of picture links. You can check the progress by looking at the Dropbox icon in a few different places. In the menu bar at the top, the Dropbox icon looks like this. In a Finder window, the Dropbox icon will look like one of these examples. Wait until Dropbox is finished before proceeding to the next step. On your mobile device, launch the Reunion Touch app. In the Welcome to Reunion Touch window on your device, tap Connect to Dropbox, then tap Allow. Or if you are asked to sign into Dropbox, use the email address and password from your Dropbox account. Once you enter this, tap Sign In and Link. You'll only need to do this one time. Tap Download a Family File from Dropbox. A list of files in your Dropbox will appear. The goal is to select the family file that you just moved to Dropbox. Tap to navigate until you see your family file. You may have to go inside a folder, or if you need to move up a folder or back out of a folder, scroll to the bottom and tap up a folder. When you see your family file, tap its name, and it will be downloaded to your device. It could take a while, especially if you have lots of pictures, but the good news is that you only have to download it one time. Once you've completed these steps, your family file will appear each time you open Reunion Touch on your device. From this point forward, changes made to your family file on the Mac will automatically appear in the family file on your devices, and vice versa. There's no need to manually sync. Here we change a birthplace, and crop a picture on the Mac. The changes automatically appear on our device. And vice versa. Here we add a birthplace on the device. And the change automatically appears on the Mac. If you have downloaded multiple family files, you can close the current file by tapping Tools, Close this family file. To open a different family file, Tap its name in the list at the top of the Welcome window. To delete a family file from your device, just swipe its name in the Welcome window. This does not affect your family file on the Mac. Even if you don't have an internet connection, you can use Reunion Touch to modify your family file. For example, if you take your iPad on the road and make some changes where there is no Wi-Fi, when your iPad resumes its internet connection, open your family file on the iPad and the changes will be synced back to your host family file on Dropbox automatically. Once you've moved your family file to Dropbox and have begun sharing the family file with a device, it's important to leave the family file in Dropbox on your Mac. Otherwise, sharing will stop. Also, we recommend that you avoid renaming or moving your family file in Dropbox after it's been shared with a device. It's a good idea to review the chapter Mobile Devices and Dropbox Sharing in your Reunion for Mac user guide. Finally, if you plan to move other Reunion files into Dropbox for sharing, for example, if you'd like to use Reunion on two different Macs and have shared folders for multimedia, reports, charts, etc., the Reunion User Guide has suggestions about organizing files on Dropbox. We hope you enjoy using Reunion Touch on your iPhone or iPad, together with Reunion 11 on your Mac.